So in this video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about affiliate marketing. This will be a complete step-by-step -step guide from A to Z. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can make money with affiliate marketing. So by the end of it, you will have a thorough understanding of the whole entire process and will know exactly what to do. We will cover many topics, including how to find the top brands to promote, which are the top affiliate networks to use, how to pick a profitable niche, what tools you'll need, how to generate traffic, and how to create viral content in order to promote your affiliate links. So let's get right into it. So first of all, let's talk about what is affiliate marketing. So you as an affiliate, you help a brand or company promote their product or service to a customer. And when a customer purchases that product through you, the merchant or the brand will basically pay you a commission for helping them promote. So basically you can earn commission by promoting or driving sales to the brand or other people's products. And this is basically a win-win-win situation because the customer gets the product they want and need and the merchant makes a sale and you as an affiliate, you help facilitate the sale. So next I'll talk about low ticket versus high ticket affiliate links. So when people talk about low ticket affiliate links, they generally just refer to links that does not pay you as much. They generally make you anywhere from $5 to $30 per sale. And when people talk about high ticket affiliate links, those tend to pay more. Um, they can make you anywhere from $50 to at least $100 per sale. So this is how the entire process work. And there's basically just four main components when it comes down to affiliate marketing. So step number one is to join an affiliate network. And these are basically networks that you could join for free. So you could find different brands or companies that you want to work with. Next, we need to pick a product to promote. They could be a physical product, a digital product, or even a service. Next, we need to get your affiliate links. And these are basically just your own unique link where you could get credit for your sales. And next and final step, which is the most important step, is to drive traffic and make more sales. And this way you can determine your strategy or your method of driving traffic, whether you want to run a blog, build a website or landing page, leverage your social media platforms, or even use email marketing. And all these methods work, it really just depends on what you want to do and what your strategy is. So let's talk about the pros and cons of affiliate marketing. So the first pro is that it has a low startup cost and it is low risk. You don't have to worry about any inventory, shipping, or even customer service. And next is that it's a scalable business model. Sky's the limit with any potential earnings. There's basically no cap to how much you could earn. And once it's set up correctly, it can become a passive income driven business. And lastly, you can work from anywhere. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection and a computer, then you're able to do it. And next, we'll talk about the cons of the affiliate marketing business model. So first of all, you have no control over the product. So that's why it's important to only promote product that you know it's good. And next con is that it takes time to build up traffic. So you definitely need to be patient. And lastly, you need to create content, either video form content or written form content. And this may have a slight learning curve, but uh, overall, I definitely say that the pros definitely outweighs the cons. So a question that you may have is what you can promote. So almost anything you can think of because most brands actually have affiliate programs. So you can think about products that you're already using or you want to create content on. So let me show you a few examples. So one of the most popular affiliate program is the Amazon affiliate program. So you can just Google this and then come to the first link where it says amazon.com associates central. And this is basically the Amazon's affiliate program where you could recommend any product that's on the website. So this one is a really simple program to join and use and to be able to get the ball rolling for you. So to sign up, you just gotta come in here and click sign up. And here you would just enter your um, Amazon uh, email and password. If you have an existing Amazon like regular account, I recommend you to use that because then uh, you could generate the uh, affiliate links a lot easier. And I'll show you in a second. And if you don't have an Amazon account yet, you can just come down here and click on create your Amazon account and sign up all at the same time. And let's go through the sign up process quickly. So after you signed in to your Amazon account, this is the screen that you'll see. So make sure that your name and address is correct and you know, click on this and click next. And here's where you will enter a website. Now, if you don't have a website yet, I'll show you how to create one uh, later in this tutorial. If you have one, you can enter it. Um, it's always better if you have a website. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to get approved. So for right now, I'll just enter my own website. And when you're done, click add and click next. And here you want to read this and select no. Are any of the traffic sources listed above directed primarily at children under 13? Um, no, click confirm. Here is where you will set your store ID. And here in this box, you can list out the content that you plan to create, whether it's a blog, content or niche website, search, just select the ones that applies to you. 
as long as they're accurate, you're going to be fine. Type in the characters here and then just click finish. And after you click finish and then you're done and then you should be able to start using your affiliate account. All right, so next I'll show you how to create your affiliate links of any product on Amazon. So once you lock inside your Amazon account, uh, you should be able to see this site strip on top of the page. And this way you can create your affiliate links. So you can select any product. So for example, we'll select this one. Once you're on the product page, what you gotta do is just come up here under get link just click on text and here we have your affiliate links so you can copy and paste this to anywhere you want to promote it and anytime when someone uses your link come to this product page and then if they end up purchasing then you'll end up getting a commission for that sale and in case you're wondering this is the commission rate chart for Amazon for each category of the product that you're able to promote so as you can see the luxury beauty the fixed commission rates is five percent most things are ranges between one to five percent I would say so it's not a crazy commission, but again, this allows you to promote any product that you see on Amazon. It's just a really easy program to get started with. So next I'll show you the different affiliate networks that are out there that you could use to find, you know, different brands and also higher commission for the products that you plan to promote. And here is the top uh, affiliate networks that I have come across and they're not in any specific order, but you can just, uh, you know, take a screenshot of this or just take a picture of this. So you have this list and I'll show you a few just to show you a few examples. So the next platform that I want to show you is share sale. So this is what the website looks like. And once you're signed up and logged in, this is the dashboard that you'll see. They have more than 4,500 merchant programs. So you can just come up here, search for merchants. And here you will find, you know, the different merchants that you could uh, join the program and promote the product. And um, on the left side here is where you could find the different categories. So you could pretty much find most things on here. It's a really great platform. So I highly recommend you to check this out. So the next website that I want to show you is ClickBank. You can go to clickbank.com and this is what the platform looks like. This is basically an affiliate marketplace where you could find all types of different offers that you could choose to promote. And you can scroll down and this is where you can become an affiliate. It's totally free. And once you become an affiliate, you can come inside your dashboard and you can go to the ClickBank marketplace. And once you're on this page, you're able to browse through the different categories or niches and to find your offer. And let's go to health and fitness, for example. And once you select a niche or category, you can scroll down. And these are all the different products that you can consider to promote. You can check out the affiliate page. You can see the gravity score, which is basically a score based on the number of affiliates uh, generating sales. So the higher the score means that there are more people promoting the offer and making money from it. And on the right hand side, you're able to see the average commission earned per sale. And this is basically how much you will be earning per conversion. And when you, let's say, found the product that you want to promote, you simply click the promote button and you will be choosing your affiliate nickname and then just create hop link and copy this hop link. And the hop link basically means your own unique affiliate link. And when people click on this link and end up purchasing, then you'll get credit for the sale. So this platform is super easy to use and they have a lot of different offers that you can promote based on the different categories. So, you know, I highly encourage you to check this out. So the next affiliate network that I want to show you is Impact. So impact.com is a website and this is what it looks like. I would say this platform is where you could find the best name brands to work with. So for example, Walmart, Ticketmaster, Adidas, Canva, these are all name brands that you're able to apply for their affiliate program and start promoting. And once you're logged in, this is a portal that you'll see. And when you come to brands, find brands, and this is where you can find, you know, the brands that you want to work with and apply for. And on the left side on the categories, this is where you could sort the results by categories, or you could simply just type in the name on the keyword box here. So for example, if I want to find Petco, and this is the pet code program that you can apply for. And when you want to apply for a program, you simply just click apply and then scroll down. And this is where you would tell uh, Petco why you want to work on this campaign and then just apply. Uh, but before you do that, you want to make sure that all your profile information is up to date because the merchant will actually go and check them out and to determine whether or not they want to approve your request to become an affiliate. So what you want to do is come down here, come down to settings 
And these are all the information that you should have already filled out when you're applying, but just to show you to make sure, um, you wanna make sure everything is up to date. So for example, your public profile, you wanna make sure that you give yourself a description. You want to link your social media profiles just so they could know who you are. And then that's what I do. Um, and also on the media profiles, you want to make sure that you connect those just so the merchant can see it. And then you will have a higher chance to getting approved. So one of the things that you want to note is that when you apply for certain you know, programs in the beginning, you may not qualify right away, especially if you're brand new, because some of the affiliate program from these brands, they require you to have a certain following or they want you to have a website or they want to make sure that the content that you make aligns with them. So don't be discouraged if that happens, because sometimes it takes a few tries in order to get approved, especially if you're brand new. So, for example, if you see for Upwork here, as an example, I actually got denied because there's a little X here. Uh, because they didn't accept me, but it doesn't hurt to apply uh, because if anything, I can just reapply in a month and to see if I qualify. So yeah, so that's just something to note. So that's why it's important for you to present yourself the best way possible. And one of the best ways to do that is to have a professional looking website. And in the next section, I'll show you how to do that. So next I'm gonna show you how to create your website or landing page. There's pretty much two main options to go about creating your own website. Uh, option number one is to use WordPress. Uh, most websites on the internet are actually built on WordPress, but the thing is it requires some experience to kind of work it. You basically need to build your own website and you need to purchase domain and hosting. And this won't be the route that we are taking on this tutorial. Since this tutorial is geared towards most beginners, we'll go with option two, which is more beginner friendly, and we'll use Squarespace. This is a more turnkey, easy to use platform. Uh, everything is drag and drop. And then also you have a tons of templates that you could choose from. So it's much, much easier to use Squarespace. And I'll show you step-by-step step how to do it in this tutorial. So now I'm gonna show you how to create a website step-by-step. Step. So your website is going to look something like this just something simple and professional looking. Basically, we'll showcase yourself, your accounts, and also your affiliate links. The purpose of a website like this is to build trust with your audience and also the merchant. When you have a website, it's so much easier to get approved for the better affiliate programs, especially if you want to have an account with impact and be approved for the name brands companies. They do require you to have a custom website, so that is why you need one. So your first step is go to the first link down in the description. And when you use my link, you automatically get a free trial. So once you're on Squarespace, you can just click get started. You can just pick any one of these options and name your site and click next. And you can just list out your top goals. It really doesn't matter. Just pick any one. And on this page, you can just pick on template and click finish. And once you're in here, you can check out all the different like pre-designed templates. All these templates, it's available for you to use. So it just depends on what your style is and what you like, you can you know freely use them. So what we're gonna do is just come up here, click on personal and CV and scroll down. You can take a look at, you know, what catches your eyes, but what we're going to do, we're gonna scroll down and, and we are going to use this template. So you could either, you know, follow along and use the same one. I can just really pick out any template you want. Um, it's pretty much like the same process. And here you can preview the template and then click this to continue. And here you just need to log into your account. I use Google login. So that's why I just click continue with my Google login. And once it's set up, you'll be you know logged into your dashboard. It's super easy to use the entire platform. Here, just give a name to your website. You can use your name or you can just type in my website and just click next. And here we have the template that was imported and now we can customize it. So here's a website that I've already built um, using the same exact template and I'll show you exactly what to do in order to customize each section. So first, let me give you a quick walkthrough of the entire platform. So on the left side here, you can see the different tabs. This is where you can access different section of the platform. So for website, this is your website builder. And for selling, this is for if you are selling any product, this is where you can manage your store. So for marketing, this gives you the tools in order to grow your brand. So for contacts, this is where you manage your subscribers or customers. Analytics is where you can see all your data and stats without using any third party plugins. And there's also a built in scheduling tool already integrated if you need one. So this is an amazing platform, pretty much it's an all in one platform to manage your entire digital presence. But for now, we'll focus our attention back to building our website. So let's come back to the website tab, click on this. So when you're on this page on the left side is where you can see all the different pages. So for example, right now we are on the home page under the main navigation, there's two different pages. So when it says navigation it's pretty much just to refer like to the main bar here. And when you click on the recommendation and then it'll take you to the recommendations page. And when you click on contact, this will take you to the contact page. 
So let's go back to home. And in order to edit this page, you simply come to the edit button here, click on it. And this will let you edit anything on this page. So let's start with the left hand side on the top first. So if you want to edit the site header, you simply just like hover onto the header and just click on edit site header. And here you'll be able to edit the title or logo. Just click on it. And if you want to edit anything, you can just edit this to anything you want. You can also like upload like a logo. If you do have a logo and then just click anywhere to exit. And as for the navigation tab, you can just come here, click this, and you can click on this edit navigation. And this way you could just like change the order. And for the social links button, you can just click on this. And let's say if you want to edit this, to add a social link, you simply just have to copy and paste your social link. And I'll do one as an example. So just click add social link and then just right click and paste the link here and then just hit enter. And then it will automatically convert to like an icon as you can see here. So it's super easy to use. And if you want to edit like the design of it, like the look of it, just click on design. And here's where you could change the size if you wish. And you could change like the border also like the thickness of the border, right? So everything is super simple. So let me change this back. And let's say you want to delete one of the social icon, just click on it and just click delete social link and then confirm here, delete. And there we deleted the one that was extra. And let's say if you want to make like the header like to be longer, you simply just hover to this area, click on this button, hold it, and then you could drag this down to make it longer. All right, so let's move on to the next section. And if you want to edit the text here, simply just hover over, click on this, double click, and then you could edit the text here uh, any way that you want. And I think for the home page overall, it's good to give a little bit background about yourself. And then on the bottom, you can showcase your social media accounts if you want, or you could just talk about your values, goals, or mission. And that's what I did here. And then when you click this, it will you know go to my YouTube account. So let's say you want to edit this middle section. Uh, you can simply just click on this and hover over this and uh, click on edit section. And this will allow you to edit the entire, you know, the big section. So here you could edit the row count. So for example, let me show you, if you increase this row count, this will make it longer by having more rows. And you can also adjust the gap. So for example, if you go with this one, this will have like a larger gap. And then let's stick with this one. And then when you add the divider, I'll turn this off so you'll see the difference. So this is without the divider on the bottom. It doesn't look as smooth. So then if you want like have a smooth style, just add the divider, like select the section and come here, enable the divider. And that's what it will look like. You can edit the background here if you want. And also you can change up the colors here if you want. And I'll show you another place where you can change up the color of your web page. Just come up here to the top right under site style, click on this. And this is where you can manage the style settings that appear across your entire site. So for example, you could adjust the font and whatever settings that you set here, it will be applied across the entire site. And the same thing applies to colors, right? If you click on color, this is where you could choose like a different color scheme. I like this one, but if you want to change it up, you can just click on edit palette. And here you could change like any of the different palette that you want to change it to. You can just click on it and preview. And if you want like a different color like this, you can just like choose that one instead. And let's exit here. And animation is really cool. Then you can just add like different animations. For example, if you want like a slide animation so that you will see like the content of the page will have this sliding animation when you scroll down. So let's close this. And let's say if you have made some changes that you don't want to save, you can just exit right here. And if you want to, you know, save the changes and obviously just click on save. And in this case, I'll just exit because I don't want to save the changes. Click on exit. And let me show you, this is how you can toggle between the desktop view and also the mobile view. So when you click on this, and this will preview your site in mobile view, and it's really important to optimize for mobile because most of your visitors will probably be on the phones. So it's more important to make sure that your site is optimized for mobile. And if you want to switch back to desktop view, just click this, and then here we go. And if you want to preview in full screen, just click on this arrow, click this, and then you'll see this in a full screen. Click this arrow to go back. And let's go back to edit. And let me show you how to add another element onto this page. You can just come up here and add block. And when you click this, you can add any of these elements onto the page. So for example, if we want to add a video, so we can just click this. And this is where the video will be. You can just drag to the area that you want to place the video. So let's say we want to add a video here. And this is where it's going to be. And you simply have to click this, edit, this pencil button. 
and then you can just add and upload your video. It's super simple. Okay, so let's delete this. So to delete, just come up here, remove. And the same thing applies to um, any other elements that you want to add. Simply just click on it and just drag and drop. So next, let's talk about the recommendations page. Just come here, click on this. And then here's the recommendations page. So I like to just put my picture. This is optional. You could do it if you want. And then I just put these on my top recommended online tools. And when you scroll down, and then I would include the image of the logo of each tool, give it a little bit description, and then add your affiliate links. And the affiliate links is also like embedded into the image. So when you, let's say, click on this, it will directly take you to the actual product, but this is actually my affiliate links. And to create this page is super simple. I'll just show you, I'll click on edit. This is just like a photo. You could literally just go to add block, add an image. So this is the image. And once you have an image, you can upload a file, All right? Once you upload the image, what you can do is come to edit, come to design and go to shape and you could select any shape that you want. So for example, this is already default at circle. So I like the circle and then you come up back out here and then you could use this to resize it, make it smaller and make it bigger. And you can also drag it to anywhere you want. And this is the text, super simple. Just add the text box. So just add block and just add text. And this one is also like an image, right? So just simply upload the image, click on edit. And to get like the rounded corners, I will show you. Go to design, go to corner radius, and just adjust this number. So the higher the number, the more rounded the corners. So let's say, let's go 80, right? So you can see that the edges are more rounded. So I like to stick with 60 for this one. You can also change it to a different shape if you want, but I just like it like this. And this one is just like a hyperlink. So just type in like click here in the text and just highlight this and just use this link box. And then you can just paste your link here. And bam, this is how you can create a simple page like this. And if you include any affiliate links on the page on the bottom, you definitely want to include like a message like this, like a proper disclosure that um, the website contains affiliate links, which means if you purchase one of the products I recommend, I'll receive a commission uh, without any additional cost to you. This allows me to continue making free content for you. Thank you for your support. So you can put something similar to this. So in mobile view, this is what it looks like. I think it will look better if this is a little bit smaller. So that's what I'll adjust it. Just place it like this. And then when you go back to desktop, it will look different, right? So when you adjust the image size in mobile, it will just stay in mobile. Yeah, I think that looks better. So that's how you create a page like this. And I hope that was helpful. So I want to give you a quick tip on organizing your affiliate links. And once you have multiple links, um, it's easy to lose track. So um, it's important to stay organized. So what I like to do is to have a Google spreadsheet like this and just list out the name of the affiliate program or the company and just list out the affiliate links and any payout account that it's going to and have like a note column in case I need to notate anything. And uh, you know, this will make your life so much easier and not waste time on, you know, scrambling different affiliate links. So next I'm going to talk about how to get results with affiliate marketing. So the number one key thing that you need to do is don't be a jack of all trades because that way you won't spread yourself too thin. If you focus on too many offers, too many products at a time, you are not going to get results. So the objective when you are first starting is to really just focus on one niche, one product, and one traffic source at one time, right? So, and once you make it work, you can then move on to other products and other traffic sources. That's really the approach to take when you're first starting in order to get results. So next I'm going to talk about how to pick a profitable niche. So when it comes down to picking your niche, it's important to pick one of these three evergreen niches, which is the health, money, or relationship niche. So these niches will always be in high demand. So for example, if you want to go into the health niche, then you can go into fitness, weight loss, cooking, etc. And if you want to go into the money niche, then you can pick something out like personal finance, business, e-commerce, or things like that. And if you want to go into the relationship niche, then you could possibly pick dating or coaching or anything of that nature. So it's important to pick a niche inside of these evergreen niches because they will always work. Now to find further ideas or to find content ideas, what you can do is to use this site called answerthepublic.com and I'll show you. So here's the website answerthepublic.com and this is what you could use to further niche down or use it as a tool to find content ideas um, that you want to use for your topic. So what you can do is just come here, select either Google or YouTube that I recommend and just enter your topic or your niche. So for example, we'll just pick weight loss as an example enter this and just come to click search. 
So once it is done searching, you can just scroll down and here you can see the search volume over here um, indicates it's good. So anything that's like lower than like 1600 indicates that it's like too low. Um, anything in between is like medium. So anything on like the green side is really good uh, because what happens is when you pick a niche or sub niche, you want to make sure that it's something that has enough search volume uh, because anything like too low, uh, it indicates that the niche is too small and there won't be enough interest or demand. And here you can also to see the information of cost per click if you ever consider want to run paid ads and uh, and when you scroll down and here's the coolest part is when you could see the related searches that people are already searching for in your niche so for example if we zoom in here um, people are already searching for a weight loss pill safe a weight loss injection safe right so you see all kinds of topics that people are already searching for and what they're interested in. So this one is a really cool tool for you to find ideas on what to uh, what to focus on or what topics that you could potentially create content on. So this is a really, really good tool to use. Okay, so next I want to provide to you the top 10 profitable niches. Any one of these, I think it's a really good niche and could definitely make money from because they're always in high demand. And notice that the first one is finance and money. And I think finance and money related niches is almost always like highest paying, but don't just pick it just because it's high paying because it's best if you could find a niche that is aligned with what your interests are. And that's important because then you'll be making content around the topic or the subject and it's so much more effortless uh, when you are actually enjoying talking about what you enjoy talking about so you want to make sure that it's something that you're passionate in or at least like interested in and the rest of the niches you could see is health and fitness technology fashion and beauty pets travel lifestyle cooking spirituality arts and crafts so all these are great niches so definitely take into consideration what your interests are while you're picking your niche and when it comes down to the tools you need, you really just need a few things. You don't need to be fancy. So the number one tool that you'll need is Canva. And this is the graphic design tool that you could uh, use to create images or videos. And next, I like to use CapCut for video editing because it's easy to use and it's free. There's a paid version too, but you don't really need it when you're first starting out. And next is I would use Squarespace to create website and landing page because it's really easy to use and some affiliate networks requires one uh, in order to get you approved. And next, if you are going to do email marketing, then I would just go with any of the email marketing software. So these are all the tools you need in order to start getting results from affiliate marketing. So next I'm going to talk about how to generate traffic. And before we get into like the specific strategies, it's good to understand that there are basically two types of traffic. One is free traffic and one is paid traffic. And for free traffic, one common strategy is to use a website, uh, but this relies heavily on SEO. So that stands for search engine optimization. This requires more technical knowledge and it requires more time. So for this tutorial, we'll just focus on using social media platforms, such as using TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, or YouTube. And this way we could get some results faster generally speaking but if you're interested in building a website and use SEO strategies to drive affiliate sales I'll definitely do more videos in the future to walk you through step by step how to do that but for this specific tutorials we'll focus on social media platforms just because we could you know get some results faster and also it is a bit more beginner friendly so let's quickly talk about the pros and cons of free traffic so the pros of free traffic is obviously is free it is not stressful and the results are often long term or permanent but the cons of free traffic is that it is a slower process so it can take a while and also you may have to deal with algorithm update that are unpredictable at times. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of paid traffic. Now before we get into paid traffic, a couple terms is important to understand. One is CPC, which stands for cost per click, and the other one is CPM, which stands for cost per milli, which is just how much it costs per 1,000 impressions. Now, the pros of paid traffic is that you get instant results, and you can also have precise targeting in terms of like what audience to target, and that way you're in control of how much traffic that you want to run to your offer. Now, the cons of the paid traffic is that it can be expensive because it costs money to run any traffic. So therefore, when you have a low budget, that equals to a low reach. And it could also be stressful managing campaigns, and it also requires some learning learning and experience in order to do a good job. So the smart thing to do to me is to promote your affiliate links using all the free methods and free traffic. After you get results, then you could consider whether or not to use paid traffic. That's the way that I would go about it. But of course, it's entirely up to you. So next I'll talk about how to promote your affiliate links with social media. So there's two main methods that you could use. One is using theme pages. And this is a method where if you don't want to show your face, so this will completely 
be faceless and you could build it basically around your niche. And if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to create your theme page from scratch, I'll link that video up here. Uh, I did a full detailed video on how to create a theme page. So you can check that out if you want. The next method is to build out your personal brand. This is a method where you do show your face and you basically want to share content on a topic that you're knowledgeable in or passionate about. And then you want to promote valuable affiliate products to your audience. Just like what I'm doing in this video, I hope that I provide high enough value to you that if you do decide to take this seriously and want to create your own website, then you could use the link in the description down below to set up your website with Squarespace. It costs nothing extra to you, but it will definitely help support this channel so I can continue to make content for you just like this. Now, the benefit of building out a personal brand is that I think it's easier to build trust uh, within an audience, but both methods work if you work it. So it really just depends on, you know, which route you want to take and what your goals are. And to give you a more tangible ideas, if you do choose to go the personal branding route, is that the types of content that you create could be product reviews. These work really well on in order to promote your own affiliate links. For example, you can do like camera reviews, or you could do like different laptops comparisons, or even like reviewing like the best accounting software or any types of software in that case. Another type of content that does really well in conversion is to create like how-to tutorials. For example, if you create like video content or even written content on how to edit videos, for example, then obviously you can provide the affiliate links to the necessary tool that you need on in order to you know implement what you teach. So these types of content work really well, just so you're aware of. So here is an example of a product review video that I just come across. This creator basically talks about the different types of cameras inside his video, and he explains it uh, in details uh, for each of them. And obviously in the description, he lists out all the cameras that he talks about inside his video and links to his affiliate links. So if anyone watches this video and wants to purchase any one of these through his links, and he will get credit for it. So this is one good example I wanted to show you. So next I'll talk about theme pages. If you want to use theme page to promote your affiliate links. So the best platforms to use for theme pages is TikTok, Instagram, and Pinterest, because they are primarily short form focused. And the main strategies with building out theme pages is you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, what you need to do is to search up your niche on one of these platforms, look at the top performing videos and take inspirations from and remake your own. And uh, let me show you how to do it. So this is an example of a theme page. It's an AI technology related theme page. And these are the topics that they talk about. And this is the bio. And as you can see on the bio, they have a link. Let's click on this. So this is the product that they're selling. So you could also do that if you want. Um, some people just have it linked to like an affiliate product. And when you scroll down, these are like carousel posts. And you could easily create these in Canva, which I'll show you how in a sec. And when you go to the Reels tab, Let's see this one. Yeah, so these are content that, you know, they just get from like other sources. So for example, they get it from CBS News and then kind of repurpose it and add their own titles and captions and then just basically credit the original source. So you could uh, easily do this in either Canva or CapCut. And let's show you another example. So this one is another example. This one is in the business and motivation niche and they're promoting a link here. So let's click on this and this uh, looks like it's an affiliate link. Yeah, it's definitely is a product that they push the traffic to. So um, yeah, so this one is a good example. The pop up is the email capture. So let's look at the post. And again, these are just the carousel posts. And uh, yeah, see, they give a call to action at the end. Click the link in the bio for the blueprint. This one is also a good example. So for something like this, they pretty much just grab the videos from like other platforms, whether it's, you know, on TikTok or YouTube, and then they repurpose the content and then they give the video credit to like the original source and they pretty much just like repost and repurpose it. So this could be one strategy for you to grow your Instagram pages. And I'll show you how to download these videos. You can just Google download Instagram reels, come to a website like this, Instagram downloader, click on this. And on a website, you can just paste on the URL of the Instagram post and you'll be able to download it. And then there's an easier way to do the research. So I'll show you a tool that I would use called Viral Finder. This is the website. You can just come in here to register for a free account and log in. And to use it, just come to user search, type in a Instagram handle that you want to do research on. And then we'll just use this one as an example, ChatGPT tricks, press enter or click search. And this will just organize the recent post and put in order the one that has the most views. You can see everything in one place. So this one is a great tool to use to save you time on researching. So from here, you should be able to get a lot of inspirations on, you know, what type of content that you want to create. 
So when you have a good content idea and then you found something that you want to recreate and repost, we'll just use this as an example. And then I will just Google the title or the topic, right? And then try to find the content that we could use. So in this example, I will just come down here and go to this YouTube video. And here is where you can find the footage, uh, really good footage that we could use. So to download this video, simple, come to share, copy the URL. And I use a software called 4K Video Downloader. So you can just download it for free. You can download both long form videos as well as YouTube shorts with this. So just open this and paste link and then just download. Okay, so here we have the file. So next we will create the content using Canva. You can come to canva.com. To get a good picture, I'll just open up the video that we just downloaded and I'll try to get a screenshot of it. Let's say this is a good picture. So then I'll just go ahead to screenshot this. And I'll come into Canva and I would just paste this into Canva. Expand this. I would get the title. The title be this. I think that's a really good title. Copy the title, come back to Canva, go to text and add a heading. Paste that text here. And I would just pick font. For this example, I will just use Montserrat Extra Bold. I will reduce the line spacing. I will actually crop the picture more to be like this. You can change the color of the background. I like it to be black. I want this text to be white. So I will change it like this. Make it more condensed, so the letter spacing. And then I will reduce their size a little bit more. So it looks like this. You can come to element and search up black fade. Select one of the fade and then just flip this vertical. So you can just put it right here. Then just expand this. So you could right click, copy and paste it. The image it just blends in much better. I would just put it like this and then I'll come to position, go to layers and I will move the text above the black fade, right? So the text will come first. So I will like to change the colors of self-driving car. Oh, double click here, select this, go to text. And I want, let's say a light blue, Austin, Texas, light blue. So it just stands out a little bit more. And then I like to add like a swipe button. So let's say I will go with this, click the color. I want to match the color. So I'll just put on the bottom, make it smaller, put on the right side, and then I will come to text again, come to body text, and this is where I wanna put my handle. Make it smaller, and I will use the same style text, Montserrat, and let's go regular. Just drag this down on the bottom. So there we go, we have the cover. One more thing, maybe the picture I can edit photo, make it a little bit sharper, come to adjust and uh, make it a little brighter, make it a little bit more contrast. So just a little bit sharper. Vibrance, maybe a little bit more. Just wanna make the picture a little bit more eye-catching. Sharpness, i also go a little bit more. Let me put this back in the middle. So yeah, so this is a pretty good cover photo. And then what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate page and then we'll work on a second page. If you want to make this stand out a little bit more, you can add another picture on top of this. So I'll show you exactly how. Come to element, come down here, go to frames. So you can drag one of these frames. So let's say we want to use a circle one. You could resize this and then you could basically put any photo in here. And let's go back to elements and search up a warning sign. Go to photos. And let's say we want to put this picture, drag and drop into the circle frame. And then you're able to resize this, or you could turn the picture a little bit more to create a little bit more of a pattern interrupt. And to swap this, you can just click on any other photo and then just drag and drop this. If you want to resize this, you can just double click this and drag inside the circle. Okay, so we're gonna work on the second page. So we have the first page and this will be the second page. This will be a carousel post where we'll put the video on the second page. So we delete this, delete the fade. We don't need this one, delete it. And then we move this up and make it way smaller. Something like that, I think it's good. Yeah, I think 28 is good. And then let's grab the video. 
so this video we'll just drag and drop here there we go I will expand this more so I'll move this up so we can just put this in the middle everything's in nice proportion so this will be the first page second page and then to export it come to share download but the first one is the picture so we're gonna have to download it separately so when you go to download so page two would be a video so I'll download this first okay so this would be the video and then we'll come back here go to download and this one would be a picture and I just need page one so uncheck this current page download there we go and then when you open this so this one we have the picture that we just created and this one we have the video okay so here is just an example of the caption uh, for this post so you want to just include a little explanation of the post um, you know give a call to action to follow your page remember important since we got the video footage from someone else so I credited viral hog I'd like to phrase it like this if you got the content from Instagram so obviously you can just tag them same thing applies if you you know got it on other platforms so I would just uh, indicate uh, which platforms that you you know got the original content from so next is getting content ideas from YouTube. The concept is pretty much the same. We want to take what's already proven to work and then add our own twist to it. So let's search for productivity and find an example. So what I like to do is come to filter on the right hand side, filter this month. So we could find something relatively recent and we want to sort by view count. So then we can find content that are already proven. Here we have change your life by journaling, my ultimate guide. That could be a good one. And here we have eight simple hacks to improve your life. I think this could be a really good one. So what you can do here is to just watch the video and just summarize it and, you know, take the idea and add your own twist to it. Or if you want a more efficient way to summarize the content, you can use this Chrome extension called YouTube summary with chat GPT. So with this Chrome extension, you're able to summarize the video using chat GPT within just seconds with a couple clicks so what you can do is install this chrome extension and then come to the video come to the upper right hand side you will have this little tab here just literally click this icon view ai summary it will directly take you to chat gpt take the transcript and then just summarize the whole entire video for you you can just ask chat gpt what are the eight hacks mentioned in the video provide me the list and give me a one sentence summary for each hack there we go. Within seconds, you can ask ChatGPT to summarize the videos for you to give you the one sentence snapshot for each of the hacks that was mentioned in the video. You could use this as your you know, content. 17 minute video condensed into an effective summary within just seconds. Definitely take advantage of this tool. It's super powerful. So how to find and create unique viral reels. One, you can pay attention to topics that are trending in your niche. You can use Google Trends. Uh, another one is called Exploding Topics. That is also a good website to use if you want to discover trends. Next method is to go to your competitor's Instagram page, look at the best performing videos, and remember, don't copy, take the idea and get inspiration and make it better. So you take the proven idea and then you can search for similar topics or speakers on YouTube. So basically the concept is to create new content based on what's already proven to work. Okay, next I will show you how to edit reels. So let's say this is the content that we want to use. So this is the part and this is the timestamp. So what we can do, again, we can download this clip, just copy and then go to 4K video downloader, paste link, then download. For this, you would want to download in the highest definition because typically when you edit into like short form videos, the higher the resolution of the original videos, the better the quality will be. So definitely download the highest definition available. Just to show you a little trick, if you're working on like a longer videos, like a video podcast like this, that's like three hours long. And then if you want to find like a certain part of the video, you can come to the show transcript and then you could press control or command F just type in the keyword and then it'll show me exactly where the section that I want to cut out. So the way that we edit videos is with CapCut. So that's a free video editor, super easy to use. So I'll show you exactly how I do it. So first just open up CapCut. If you don't have CapCut yet, just download the app onto your either desktop or Mac. And then I would come to new project and then come to import and we'll import the clip that we had just downloaded and then we just need to drag the clip onto the timeline. 
and here we have the entire clip so we will go to the timestamp that we had taken note that was 239.47 hover over this timeline and then you'll be able to see the time stamp here important thing for in order to remember something you must assign meaning to it okay so that would be like the first sentence move the playhead here or you can just you know hover it click here press split clip here or you can press b when you press B, you can just like cut up the clip here. Click this, come to delete. So we deleted the first part of the clip. So we'll cut out the dead space. Before we do that, we want to click on the entire clip, come to ratio and click nine by 16. So that's the vertical dimensions. That is for short form content. Select the footage here and just drag this out, drag this. So it fills up the whole frame like this and put him in the middle so that would look nice so basically you just want to cut up the clip that you know you think is interesting and people want to watch so there's a lot of pauses so i will just go ahead to eliminate the pauses so when you look at the audio volume it's like empty here so that indicates a dead space so i'll just like cut this out so after let's say you're done cutting up the clip i'll show you how to do the subtitles let's come up to text and come to auto caption and create and it will automatically create captions for you here you can just select you know, one of the captions or subtitles and come to captions if you want to have just like two or three words on each line you can just come here to caption press enter it would be like separated right so you can just do the same thing and then let's say you want to bring this up you can just come here Backspace, and then it will be in the same line. After you're done, just want to make sure that there's no typo. If there's any typo, you can just like correct it here. And you can come to text. Make sure the apply all is checked if you want to change, you know, all the font at the same time. So you can come to font, and you can pick any font that you want to use. We'll just use this as an example and increase the size. So let's go 11. Let's move this up. And let's come to this color and let's change it to white. And you can just freely customize it. Um, this is just how I do it. And I just want to show you an example. Turn on the shadow. I feel like that's a pretty good look. You can click stroke and I like to increase this a little bit more. Maybe 80. Something like that I think it looks good. And then we can play it. In order to remember something, you must assign meaning to it. And if you can say why something is relevant, you probably will remember. Somehow they skip the caption here. So what happens is you want to select this and just you can drag this out. Same thing here. Somehow it got skipped, but it's an easy fix. You can just drag this. And then when you're done, you can just go to export and export this file. And then you can post this onto your reels. So after you have your content created, it's good to repurpose them onto different platforms, just so you could grow on multiple platforms at the same time. Remember to be consistent and stick to the plan because growth is not overnight. So be patient and take action. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so right now so I can continue to update you with any new methods and strategies. And I hope you find this video helpful. Until next time, see you in the next one.